Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. We serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a powerful God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus, who is still in the healing business, who is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good, and every day is a day to enter into his courts with thanksgiving and praise. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and I am so glad, I am so glad to be a part of it and always rejoice in it. Hallelujah. We said, well, God, he was so faithful that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He'll never turn his back on you. He'll never give up on you. But most of all, most of all, my brothers and sisters, he will never, he will never fail you. He is that good. He is that awesome. He is that mighty. Yes, he is. He still sits on the throne. He still watch over every last one of us. Every day. Every day. As you gain thanks, praise, and glory. He don't owe us anything. Not one cent. As some of y'all think that Jesus owe you something. He don't owe you nothing. Every last one of us are in debt with Jesus. Because he paid the ultimate price for every last one of us. He carried every last one of our sins on the cross. He took that beating for every last one of us. He carried that big heavy cross for every last one of us. He got beat down, humiliated for every last one. He got spit on for every last one. He got whipped for every last one of us. He did that for you, my sisters, and he did it for you, my brothers. So there's no way, there's no way, absolutely no way, that you even can think or even imagine that Jesus owes you anything. He does not. We owe him. That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. But when I say praise him, I ain't talking about praising him because he wants something. I ain't talking about praising him because you need a bad thing. I'm talking about praising him because you're in love with Jesus. That you have a personal relationship with Jesus. There's nothing, I mean absolutely nothing, can take you away from Jesus. I don't care what it is. Nothing can keep your eyes off Jesus if you're really in love with him. Are you really in love with Jesus? And if you are, give him some thanks. Give him some praise and give him some glory right now today in the house of the Lord. Can you please pray with me? Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all thanks. We give you all praise. We give you all glory. We thank you, Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, we thank you, Father God, that we're able to spend time with you today, Father God, to open our heart to you today, Father God. Father God, continue to walk by faith, Father God, and not by sight. Continue, Father God, to put our faith, to put our trust, to put our hope all into your hands right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, we thank you for this word that we're about to receive. We thank you, Father God, for this powerful message today that's going to keep us full today, going to keep us satisfied today. Father God, there's no place that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary right now, lifting you up with thanksgiving and praise. Oh, Father God, let your will be done today. Let your word go out, Father God, and should never turn back void today. Oh, Father God, allow your love to move through this place. Allow your presence to move through this place. Allow your angels to join with us in praise and worship today, Father God, in this place right now. Oh, Father God, we magnify, we glorify, we exalt your holy name right now today in, in your place, Father God. Oh, Father God, I know that you're about to show up and I know that you're about to show out. Oh, Father God, I know that you're about to do something amazing through this place right now today. Oh, Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, to touch us right now. Father God, I'm asking you to lift us up right now. Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, to do a new thing through your sons and your daughters right now. Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, for a favor right now. Father God, some of us right now, we're going through some things right now. And it's weighing us down right now. I'm just asking you, Father God, to fill us up more with the Holy Spirit right now today, Jesus, because we want more of you and less of ourselves. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for a word right now. Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to move through us and lift us up right now. I'm asking you, Father God, to comfort us right now. 
Oh, Father God, we need you right now. We're depending on you right now. We're relying on you right now, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father, Abba, Father, you are everything to us right now. Oh, Father God, we lift you up right now in this place. Glory be to God. We love you, Jesus. We magnify your name right now today, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are so worthy to be praised. Heavenly Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground. The house that you built on solid foundation. The house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bought. Over here, Heavenly Father God, Abba Father, you are welcome right now. You are invited right now today to enter to your house right now. Right here in your sanctuary right now. Right here on your YouTube channel right now. Right here on your platform right now. Right here in my brother's homes and my brother's life. Right here in my sister's homes and my sister's life. Father God, you have your way right now. Holy Spirit, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord right now. Right here in this sanctuary right now. Right here on Jesus' YouTube channel on this platform right now. Right here in my sister's homes and my sister's life. Right here in my brother's homes and my brother's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to quiet our thoughts, quiet our mind right now. Control our anxiety, control our fears right now. So we hear your soft, still voice right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you right now today, loud, catch the Holy Ghost fire through this sermon, through this service right now. Oh, Father God, we thank you right now. We worship you right now today, Jesus. Oh, Father God, words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored and blessed I am to pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers and sisters today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, there's no place I'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here with my brothers and sisters, Father God. Heavenly Father God, we're here today to let you know that we're available for praise. We're available for service. We're available for the kingdom. But most of all, Jesus, that we're available for you. Father God, please forgive us for our sin, known and unknown right now. Wash us as white as snow right now, Father God. Purify us through your blood right now today, Jesus. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiveness for our sin. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Thank you, Father God, for coming through. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, it's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that's always in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and the fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you. To Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and I shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I pour my heart out to you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my faith into you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I pray. That's why I boast about you. That's why I talk about you all day long, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. But let Jesus know right now today that you can't thank him, that you can't thank him enough. Amen? Amen. Some of y'all think that you can get the same thing twice, but you really can't. When God gives you a blessing, and if you don't know how to treat that blessing, that blessing will remove itself from you. Some of y'all right now today, you are fumbling the bag, or you're on your way to fumbling the bag. When I mean by fumbling the bag, and I ain't talking about fumbling about no money. I'm talking about fumbling something that you'll never get twice. That person that really loved you, my sister, that person that really love you, my sister, that person will do every anything for you, my sisters. You will not get that same person again twice. You are taking that brother right now today for granted. You're only thinking about yourself and your needs and your wants, but you have no idea what that brother got to go through. You have no idea what that man is up against. But in your head, in your mind, you are thinking, that you can get something like that twice again, you won't and you can't. It's in the Bible. I don't know who you talking to. I don't know who you listening to. 
but right now you're on the verge. You're about to fumble something that's good. I'm not saying that man is perfect, but he's good. God would never put that man in your life or in your path if he wasn't good enough for you, if he wasn't even righteous for you. But you are thinking that you can get something like that again. You can and you won't. And I promise you, if you keep playing and keep doing what you're doing, God will, God will remove that man out of your life and give it to somebody who's going to love that man and treat that man right, who will not fumble the back. And I promise you, you will regret it for the rest of your life. You thought that you went through hell one time, but you'll go through hell ten times worse. Because first of all, not only did you play with him, but you played with God. You play with God. That's why I'm telling you right now today, too many of y'all right now today, you're taking the blessing for granted. You are taking this blessing for granted. You will never get it again twice. My brothers, same thing goes for you. God has blessed you with the right woman right there. You're taking this woman for granted. You're mistreating her, and you're not treating her with respect at all. In your mind, you think it's another woman just like that out there. It might be plenty of fish in the sea, but it's only one particular fish that's in that sea. And God has given you that one particular fish, the fish that God told you to take care of, to protect, and to provide. He assigned that fish to you, and you are thumbing the bag on that fish. And I'm going to tell you the same thing, like I said earlier. You regret it too. Because once God gets tired of you doing his daughter like that, he will take that daughter out of your life. And I promise you, you'll regret it because you'll never get another woman like that ever again. Some of y'all taking these friends for granted, these jobs for granted. You think that friend is always going to be there? You think that job always going to be there? You think you can just call out whenever you want to call out? You feel like you can take off whenever you want to take off? You feel like you can skip work whenever you want to skip work? You feel like that you can go to work and do a half-done job? And you think that, that poor is still going to keep you there? Your time is running out. And it's running out quickly. Because some of y'all didn't realize what's been given to you. God could have gave it to somebody else. But he gave it to you. Because you are thinking that you can do something better. You think that you can find something better. I promise you, you will regret it. Ask some people right now today how many times they don't fumble the bag. And they, they can tell you they wish they can do everything back over again. What they know right now today, they would have treated that man much better. They would have treated that woman much better. And they would have did it. Some of you don't even realize what's about to happen right now. I'm here tonight to warn you, to give you a, a, a root of awakening, give you an eye open. You better chill out before it's too late. You better chill out before it's too late because right now you are burning bridges right now. I don't know how much the longer you think God's going to keep that blessing right there in front of you open. Because one thing you don't realize, the window of blessing it will shut. And when it's shut, you can knock, you can beat, you can ring, you can yell. You'll never get it again. And you're going to be so sorry, so sorry that you did what you did. You're going to be sorry, my sisters. You'll be sorry, my brothers. You better learn how to take and be appreciative of what God has given you. Do not take that blessing for granted. And some of y'all, that is exactly what you are doing. You are taking it for granted. And you want to blame everybody else. But you got to learn how to stop pointing a finger at yourself and see what you are doing. Because you're part of the problem too. You're part, you, you're part of the cause too. But you want to blame him, you want to blame her. You need to stop pointing a finger at yourself and saying, self, what I'm doing wrong. The Holy Spirit going to tell you what you're doing wrong. Because you're doing something wrong. Amen? Amen. Let's get into this word. Let's turn our Bible to Matthew 27. And we're going to read verses 1 through 5. 
Matthew 27, and we're going to read verses 1 through 5. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Early in the morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people came to the decision to put Jesus to death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate the governor. When Judas, who had betrayed him, saw that Jesus was condemned, he was seized with remorse and returned it and returned the 30 silver coins. I'm gonna start right there. When Judas, the one who had betrayed him, when he saw it, when he saw this eye to eye what he did wrong, when he saw and realized that he fumbled a bag, when he saw he realized I don't messed up. I never get another shot like this again. I never find another love like this again. I never find someone who was faithful to me, who was there with me. When he saw it and he realized and he knew he fumbled a bag, but what happened? He was remorse. I mean, he was sorry. He felt sorry for us. He cried. He felt the shame. He fumbled a bag. He knew at that moment right there he did something dirty. He knew at that moment right then and there he did something wrong. He knew right then and there it was no way out. Because in Judas' mind, he felt like he was doing something. In Judas' mind, he felt like he can always get another Jesus. You can't replace what God is giving you, my brothers and sisters. You can't replace that. Some of y'all are trying to replace something that is never going to be replaceable. You can't replace something that's not replaceable. You can't do it. You can try all day long. So whenever that, whenever that you're trying to replace something that is good for you, you're always going to end up something bad. Whenever it is that you're trying to replace something that is that is perfect for you, you're always going to end up with a bomb. And some of you right now today, you got that right now. Some of you right now today, you're on the way to getting it. And you're going to think about everything that man did for you, my sister. You're going to think about it, my brother, everything that woman did for you. When you see that man and that woman with somebody else, or when you see that man and that woman no longer in your life anymore, you're going to be remorse. You're going to be crying. You're going to wish that you did everything right to that brother and sister. But I'm telling you right now today, you better get yourself together right now. You better wake up right now because Jesus is not, is not going to allow you to continue to do what you're doing to his sons and daughters. Your time is winding down, my brothers and sisters. You better get right right now. You better wake up right now before it's too late because too many right now today, you fumble it back. You will never get another shot like that ever again. You'll never get another love like that again. And if you think that you are, and if you think that you can, go ahead and try it. I dare you right now today, my sister, tell that brother right now today you don't want him. Tell that job right now today you don't want it. Tell that friend right now today you don't want it no more. Think that you can do better. I promise you. I promise you. You're going to be remorse. I promise you. You're going to fumble the bag. I promise you. You'll regret it. Try it. My brothers, I dare you right now today. Let that sister go right now. Let that friend go right now. Let that job go right now. Think that you can get something better. I promise you, you're going to regret it. I promise you, you're going to lose so much weight, you ain't going to even realize yourself. Try it right now. You'll never get another shot like that again. You'll never get another love like that again. Judas realized he'll never get that again. That's why he was so sorry. When he saw it, he realized, I messed up. I fumbled the bag. Some of you right now today, you're on your way to fumble in the bag. And when you fumble that bag, hey, it's going to be painful for you. You think that you got it going on? You think that other guy wants you like that? You'll see. You think that other woman wants you like that? You'll see. You think that friend wants you like that? You'll see. You think that other job going to do you good? You'll see. Go ahead and try it. Go ahead and try it. You're going to pay for it. I promise you that. It's right here in the Bible. It's right here in the Word. These are not my words. It's what the Word of God is saying. You will pay for it, my brothers and sisters. I finish reading. I have sinned, he said, for I have betrayed innocent blood. What is that to us? They replied, that's your responsibility. Do you see how they flipped on them? Do you see how Judas from the bag? See, that same, that same dude, my sister, 
that you take it for granted, thinking that you can find another guy like him, go ahead. Once you do that guy right here wrong, and it's good for you, thinking that you're going to find something better, guess what the other guy going to do to you? He's going to flip on you. He's going to destroy you. He's going to terminate you. And once he's done, first thing he's going to say, that's your responsibility. I ain't tell you to leave something good. I just played with you. I told you what you wanted to hear. I told you what you what do you want to see. Now when that guy gonna do you like that, that friend gonna do you like that, that job gonna do you like that. My brothers, the same thing. That next woman gonna do you like that, that friend gonna do you like that, and that job gonna do you like that. The first thing they're gonna say, that's your responsibility. They're gonna do you something wrong. And you're gonna think about everything. Everything. What happened? You're going to pay it. You're going to pay for it now. You will never get another shot. You will never get another shot because you didn't take God serious enough. You, you played with God. And you played with his child. God, not, not, God is not going to allow you to continue to play with his children anymore. If you don't wake up, wake up soon. That bag right there in front of your face. You about to fumble it. And it's going to be taken away from you. And I can't even feel sorry for you. Because you took what God has given you. And you took it for granted. That'd be the worst mistake of your life. People are going to talk about you. People are going to laugh at you. You think people ain't talking now? Guess what? They're going to talk soon. You think people ain't picking at you now? They're going to pick soon. They're going to talk about you like a dirt. They're going to treat you like dirt. Because at the end of the day, that's what you really want. You didn't want nothing good. You was pretending like you want something good. The point I'm making, once God gives you something, you better learn how to take care of it. Because if you don't learn how to take care of it, somebody else will. And if you know God is talking to you, and you know that you've been messing up in that area right there, Today is the day that you need to open up and confess to God and be honest with him because he know your heart. He know what's going on. He see everything. He hear everything. He aware of everything. He know what's going on. He know what you're doing to his sons. He know what you're doing to his daughters. He know what you're doing to them friends. He know what you're doing to that job. He ain't slow at all. But if you don't stop, you better from the bag. You'll never get a love like that ever again. If you like what you heard today, go and hit Jesus' like button. Hit the subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you, you come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying a simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is Buddhist.alt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always praise him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to keep your, you can continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands and please don't let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm serving in this LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.